Hey, hey, happy Friday, friends. How are you? Gosh, I cannot even believe it is Friday. For those of you that are watching, hi, and are brand new to me, hello, my name is Brooke Sidney. I am a mind soulful mentor, a self-love advocate, and an inner voice and soul story coach. And I just wanted to get on quickly because, hey, life is all about lessons and learning lessons and sharing them. So I figured today I would get on and talk to you about why I am one, changing the date of my gratitude challenge and kind of where that came through and where that came from. So thank you, thank you so much for watching. So I could have titled this live, not just changing the date or change the date, I could have entitled it why you should listen to your inner voice. I could have entitled it um, what happens when you kind of just go along, you know, like you think you're being easy and special and nice and all that and you're really not, you're not helping, you're not helping yourself. Like the whole, I could have entitled it, even people pleasing, I could have entitled it um, once again, learning the lessons of being true to you. Hello, hello, you guys that are watching. So for those of you that don't know, I am hosting a gratitude challenge where I basically get on for about a week and I really for free um, help people activate a more gratitude vibration in their life. And by that, I mean really stir up all this goodness that is already present, right? We already have a grateful spirit, a grateful heart, but it's so awesome for us to remove any layers or any barriers for us accessing it. So to me, that is what I do. I help us get in touch with our, our grateful spirit and learn to love not only our lives right now presently, that's the mindfulness piece that's being here right now, but also love ourselves greater and deeper and more fully, like truly love the heck out of this life that we have right now and that we're gifted with. But today I wanted to get on and talk to you briefly and share a story and I'm trying to figure out even where to begin. So last year, I think I'll begin with last year. So last year I hosted a gratitude challenge, um, kind of around the same time, which coincides, coincides, which coincides um, with my son's birthday party. Get them out, Brooke. Get out the words. It it coincides with my son's birthday party, and so he turns five on January twentieth. So this year, I had decided, okay, I'm going to have the gratitude challenge begin after his birthday. So have it begin on the twenty first because all parties, all things should be done with him after the 20th, right? So that plan was set into, set into motion. Um, and for this year, because last year I did a gratitude challenge that coincided with his week of festivities and his birthday. And what that means is my mother and other people come into town um, to help celebrate my son, which is amazing. It's truly, truly amazing for him. But what it is for me is it is energy dispersed in so many different ways. Hello, hello for those of you that are watching. And so what I saw last year was that although I had an amazing time hosting the Gratitude Challenge, I wasn't able to give it my full and undivided, not only energy, but attention. But more importantly, energy, because energy is really the biggest thing when you're hosting anything. I would argue energy is the biggest thing in the world right now, period. So um, the reason I'm telling you this is that in many ways, it was a disaster last year because I was balancing having a birthday party, right? My son's birthday party um, for the first time co-hosting with my ex-husband. We're just gonna leave that right there. And hosting my mother um, in my home, in town, right? When all this is going on, and needless to say, I thought I was handling it all beautifully. I'm like, oh, I got this birthday party thing down. So much was going on. Gratitude challenge, birthday party, people in town, all this stuff. I locked myself out of my house on the morning we were to take my son to his birthday. I ended up having to break into my own house. I tell you this is because our energy and things send us signals and sometimes we don't listen to them. So last year, I didn't listen, I had to break into my house. 
So I remember that, but you know, I kept on moving, I kept on moving and I kept on going. Hey, hey, I kept on moving and I kept on going. But I told myself next year, I'm not having the gratitude challenge during the same time as my son's birthday. <laughs> I told myself, spirit heard it. I told myself this. Fast forward to this year. I set the date for the gratitude. Hi, Veronica, good evening or good day. Like it is um, only 12 o'clock here, but hi. Um, so I fast forward to this year. I set the date for the gratitude challenge to be the 21st after my son's birthday. And truthfully, my ex-husband comes to me and is like, let's host it again. Let's host his birthday together again, which we're, in, we're on good terms, but it's still a lot of energy. It's still a lot of energy. Let's just be honest. It's still a lot of energy. Um, and those type of joint shared situations do take energy management. They take boundaries. And yeah, it's still fresh and new. So I was like, okay, but now he really wanted to change it to January 27th to give people more time to respond to the invitation and all this stuff. I'm telling you all this because it's important. So rather than listening to kind of my spirit that was saying, no, 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 it's January 20th. No, no, no. And I did say originally, no, I really want to keep it on the 20th. And then I was, you know, basically boiling down to, I was, ended up being nice. I ended up being nice and being like, okay, we can go with January 27th for his birthday party. What that means by me being nice is that now the energy of my son's birthday and all that comes with it is now spread out from before his birthday on the 20th, which is actually 20th of Sunday, to all the way through the 27th and 28th until now when my mom leaves. I'm telling you this because I realized now all of a sudden, once again, the gratitude challenge is falling at the same time as my son's birthday. And not only is my son's birthday bit gonna be like last year, it's actually exploded into two weekends. So it's exploded into the weekend of the 19th and 20th, so this weekend, as well as next weekend. And what I don't want to happen is I don't want to have my energy dispersed. I don't wanna lock myself out of the house and I don't wanna disperse my energy in multiple ways, right? And I also thought that it was an amazing way for me to share with my clients and with those that are just getting to know me how important managing our energy is and listening to our inner voice. So yesterday, I'm like, okay, it's, it's fine. I can just power through all of this, all of this energy I'm feeling right now in terms of having to plan this party, getting a little worried. My mom is getting ready to come in town and she's staying with me and I love her to death, but she brings her own set of energy. Let's just be real, right? The realer we, the realer we are about everything, the more we can, you know, properly manage our own energy and our expectations, right? And be able to really power through and power up ourselves. So I realized, I was like, why am I starting to feel like anxious? Why am I starting to feel overwhelmed? I'm excited about my gratitude challenge. I love sharing these teachings. I love working with people in this area and I feel like it has so much to give. I, I, when I, I'm so sincere when I say that activating our gratitude shifts our lives. So I am so excited to talk about it, but I was like, why am I feeling this? So what did I do? I went to go pray about it and I went to go meditate about it. Two biggest tools. Immediately spirit dropped into me, change the date. I was like, what? Change the date? I don't change things. I'm that girl who when I say I'm doing something, I'm doing it, go, go, go. I'm the attorney, I'm getting things done. I can power through stuff, I can do this. And then I said, what would I tell my client? What would I tell one of these women that are working with me that um, I'm really helping them to be in flow, be in alignment, be in the moment, manage their energy, love their lives right now, not be stressed out, not feel constricted or restricted. I would tell them, hey, I would tell them, no, just like spirit told me, change the date. Change the date. So sometimes in life, we have to listen to our bodies, 
right? We have to listen. When we start feeling things in here, when we start feeling constricted, when we start feeling certain energies, we need to tune in and tap into that. That's what I did. I sat my behind down and I said, I got to get to the root of why I'm feeling this way about this. Then the second thing was when we get a message, we have to listen to it. So no, my ideal scenario or the old Brook Sydney, the old Brook Sydney is like, no, you just power through. You power through, you get it done. This time you don't lock your keys in the house. <laughs> this time, you know what I mean? Put up some energetic barriers. You power through. That's the old Brook Sydney. The new Brook Sydney and the more aligned in flow and ease and listening to spirit one does what spirit says. And spirit says change the date. So I'm honoring that, listening to myself, listening to my inner voice, and listening to spirit. When you get a message, you listen, right? You listen. And so that's what I'm doing. I am changing the date of the gratitude challenge to the following Monday, January 28th. So everything will be updated. For those of you that didn't even know, this is, I'm glad you shared your testimony. Your testimony is confirmed. Yes. And that's why I was like, let me get on here and share. What I teach, I live, I'm living it. So I've even felt like it would be inauthentic for me to power through something. It's my challenge. This is my gift to, to everyone that follow me and that care about these teachings, that want to learn more about gratitude, want to learn about mindfulness from a soulful space, not from a head space, who want to see how spirit works through and with us, right? I am a living testimony. Like when spirit tells me something, all of my messages are channeled. I'm not like listening. I'm not making stuff up. Like when spirit says do something, I do my best to do it. Do I always do it? No, no, of course not. Of course not. I'm a work in progress just like everybody is. Um, have I learned a lot about this particular area that I teach on? Hell yeah, I have. That's why I'm teaching on it and sharing it. But when spirit says something, drops it into your spirit, when you have a thought, and we can talk more about that, and I teach on inner voice and hearing and listening and all of that good stuff and how sometimes we just have internal deafness when we're not listening, we need to listen. And so I know it's for my protection as well that I change the date. So in so many ways, and I'm so glad, Veronica, that you shared that with me because I really feel like most of the time, the things that I'm going through and the things that I share about, it's not just for me. I think that's why spirit is telling me to share them. Um, and I'm glad that it provided you with confirmation. So if you take nothing more away from this live stream is that we're all works in progress. Listening to spirit and hearing our inner voice is a daily, hell, it's a moment by moment process. And we can all improve. And then finally, now you have another week to get ready for more gratitude and to grab friends and really get pumped up for this gratitude challenge. And I really think that you're going to enjoy it. I know that you will, right? I know that you will. So I'm super excited, you know, to offer it and to also live and be an example of these teachings. And so I wouldn't be true to you. I wouldn't be true to me if I didn't listen to spirit. And also nobody needs anybody locking themselves out of houses again for my son's birthday party. That was just, oh my gosh, you guys, oh my gosh. But anyway, yes, it's imperative to follow the voice of God, exactly. So that's what I got on to share. It's Friday, I am so appreciative of you. For anyone, for you that are, for, for those of you that are watching me right now, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for witnessing um, my sharing, um, my testimony, the lessons that I'm learning. I appreciate you. Thank you for standing in agreement with me by being on this and listening to me. And I really value it. I cannot tell you. And I would love for you to, of course, join me in the gratitude challenge. It starts not Monday the 21st, but Monday the 28th and it will run that entire week. Um, and it will go past the weekend. It'll probably continue on to Monday or Tuesday. I always have some fluidity and flexibility in the things that I offer. Um, I'm a creative person and so I go with the flow and I also listen to what spirit says to the best of my ability. So thank you so much. If you haven't signed up, 
I will pop the link below to sign up for the gratitude challenge. I'd love for you to like, love, and share this video. Um, share it to people that need a little help with following that inner voice and spirit. Um, and share it with people you know that could benefit from more gratitude in their life. Thank you so much. I'm wishing you an amazing Friday and an amazing weekend. And I will see you soon.